A prayer for God's grace, peace, mercy, wisdom, and understanding in hard times. Heavenly Father, I come to you once again to draw from your sufficient grace which you have promised to all your children and I pray that you will give me your perfect peace to guard my heart in these difficult times. Throughout my life, I have come to you in time of hardship and you have never let me down. Thank you that the length, the breadth, the height and the depth of your grace are beyond my understanding and that your perfect peace is beyond my comprehension. And yet, you provide both grace and peace to all whose minds are stayed on you. I pray that in my weakness, I would know your strength, and in my sadness, I would know your joy. In pain, I will know your healing touch. And in these hard and difficult times, I pray I will know your amazing grace and your perfect peace deep within my soul. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, in a world that is becoming more and more alienated from you and increasingly critical of other people, I ask for your grace and understanding so that I may live a godly life in Christ Jesus and not be adversely affected by the divisions and disunity that may seem to infiltrate the church as well as the secular world system. Father, I know that the Bible tells us that in these end days, the love of many will grow cold. And it seems that we are living amid a generation that has become cold-hearted, indifferent, unloving, and disinterested in their fellow man. Give me the ability to live in this world without being affected by its critical spirit. And give me the understanding and grace to love others as Christ has loved me to consider the needs and desires of others as before my own and to value other people above myself even when I am the birth of their criticisms. May Jesus be seen in me and in all I say or do and may his love influence all I think and am. I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, thank you that you have given unto us all that we need for life and godliness. But Lord, I also pray that you would grant me godly wisdom and the sufficient grace to navigate my way through life in the power of the Holy Spirit. You have called us to be wise as serpents and yet to be gentle as those and so I ask for your practical wisdom, gracious sensitivity, and wise discernment so that I may be enabled to identify what it, what is from you and what is designed to trip off your children in these end times and even deceive the very elect of God. Father, I know that in these last days, the church is going to be flooded with spirit of deception and with many unbiblical teachings. And Lord, we appear to be in this position today. But I praise you and thank you that I am in Christ, who has become for me the wisdom of God. I praise your name that I am in Christ clothed in his righteousness and redeemed by his precious blood. Grant me, I pray, that sufficient grace and godly wisdom that only comes from you, so that I may live as unto the Lord in a world that has rejected you. 
Fill me, I pray, with your Holy Spirit, so that I may act justly in love and in mercy and walk humbly before you all the days of my life. This I ask in Jesus' mighty name. Dear God, your word to me in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 states that your grace is sufficient for me. Your power is made perfect in my weakness. Therefore, I will boast more gladly about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Lord, I am grateful for your abundant, abounding grace. Thank you that we do not have to earn a drop of the mighty river of grace that flows freely for us today. Thank you for the unexpected, unmerited favor you have showered upon our lives. Help me to put myself in the path of your love and grace. Help me not to neglect the disciplines I need to meet with you regularly and to drink from the water of life. I thank you for your rich love upon my life. Help me, O God, because like all the children of men, I need your grace daily, because the blessings of yesterday will not take care of the burdens of today. May I know thee as the shepherd of my life and of my eternal soul. May my fears be dissolved by the faith in thee and through the power of thy love. Help me to love and manifest the spirit of love under all circumstances to everyone I come in contact with today. May my life be glory to thyself. Help to my fellow men and reward unto me in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear God, please do not let me abuse your grace upon my life. Help me to fear and carefully follow all your instructions so that I can prosper in life and in ministry. I also pray that you frustrate all enemy schemes aim to sabotage your grace in my life. Let my enemies fall. Let me serve you well. And let me receive your goodly rewards in this life and in heaven also. Lord, I understand that you require that all people must faithfully obey you and follow your instructions. Therefore, I am ready to yield my life and obey you to the fullness. I will serve and honor you as long as I live. I am utilizing this opportunity to ask for your extra grace that will enable me satisfy you at all times. Please give me your grace so that I can prosper on earth and in heaven also. Mighty Jehovah, please help me to be sensitive in the Holy Ghost at all times. Let me yield my total life unto you, and let me follow your instructions whenever you lead me, so that I can enjoy your unmerited grace and favor on earth. Dear God, I understand that Satan has nothing good to offer anyone. Therefore, I choose to follow you. My heart desires will be to faithfully serve you and obey your instructions. I will not deviate from loving you. I will serve you with my whole heart and I will give you all it takes to make our relationship work. Please anoint me with grace and fill me with your Holy Spirit to keep my promises and remain faithful to you until the end. Please count me worthy of your blessings on earth and in heaven also. For in Jesus Christ's name I pray. 
Amen.